who thought this was a good idea for an entrance to a city? And up. I mean, this place is stunningly pretty. I will grant you that. But still. Juan, the gym leader with the beauty of pure water. Well, I know the door is closed. Do you want to open it? No? Okay. Uh, I may as well have a look around the city. Zootopolis City. No, I, I don't want to have a look around the city. Because I'm, you know, I'm on a time limit. So I will come and explore the city at length later, after I've leveled up a bit more. Because I want to level up more. I can always infect uh, Satorus with Pokerus. That way, if, if for some reason I mess up and, and don't do this right, then I can still get uh, Satorus with Pokerus. Right, shift them. I think I'll also give it to Yin, because I think I read that uh, when they're stored in the PC, it doesn't tick down, so that you could use one stored in the PC to repeatedly infect Pokémon with it. So if I... if it just takes a single battle to spread... oh. I forgot how bloody annoying fishing was in this. If it only takes a single battle to spread, then I should be able to infect both Yin and, and Satorus. Oh no, I think it only affects adjacent ones. So if I switch those two, then it should infect both of them at once. If I'm understanding this, I have never looked into Pokerus because it's like, well that's an interesting thing, I'm never going to get a Pokemon with Pokerus. I cannot believe I actually got it in the series. It's like I was thinking earlier, uh, well, earlier, a couple of weeks ago, whenever it was, um, it would be really cool if. Oh, it was when I was fishing for Feebas. It would be really cool if I got a, a shiny Carvana or something. Just something interesting to show up in the, uh, in the series that wouldn't show up in a normal play. I thought that would be really cool, but bloody Pokerus is rarer than shiny Pokemon, so. Yin should be infected. Yin is not. Neither is Satorus. Uh, I thought it said they get infected. No idea. I think they just sort of got infected over time. I think it spread while I was doing all that battling and I came back and healed and it's like, oh, everyone's infected now. Um, hmm. I don't know. Fuck it. Right. It is about time I called it a day, you see. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to deposit all of them. And if I'm correct in my understanding of this, that should stop it from sp uh, from decaying on them. So I'll keep Yin out. Like that. So... This should work. If I'm understanding Pokerus correctly, which I highly doubt I am, uh, they should still be infected next time I record, whenever that is. So, thank you very much for watching. Um, if this is in the middle of an episode, pff, oh well. And uh, hopefully Pokerus will, be, will still be there. Catch you later. Hello and welcome back. Yep, still in the middle of the recording. Uh, let's have a look. Did my trick work? Uh, nope, I didn't mean to do that. Summary. It did. Okay, fantastic. Although people have informed me in the comments that uh, even though they will lose the status of Pokerus, they still get the bonuses of it. Which is good. Which I wasn't aware of. So... Um, I am going to fly to Lily Cove because I forgot to catch Staryu there when I got uh, the Super Rod. I apologise if I sound a bit off today. I have a bit of a cough. 
So in order to get through this recording, I have a cough suite in my mouth. Uh, and I'll try not to move it around much, but if you hear clacking or if I sound odd, it's because of that. So I apologize. Yay, right away. It's genderless? Huh. I didn't know Staryu was genderless. Yin's probably not going to do well. Netball is a sport, but it's also a kind of Pokeball. Go! Come on, 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 come on. Yeah, easy. Nice and easy. Absolutely no stress there. The only suggestion I had for this one was... Misty. You can probably guess why. Oh, damn, I shouldn't be in box 14, but that's okay. So, uh, that's all for back here. And I wonder, since he was direct... Nope, still not. Oh, 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 oh! Oh shit! They all have the dot with them now. Huh. That means that this, yeah, this dot here. That means they're no longer affected, uh, infected with it, but did have it previously, so they still gain the benefits. Um. But they were in the PC. It's not midnight. It's nowhere near midnight now. Do they get uninfected the moment I take them out of the PC? But that means uh, Satoris isn't going to get infected. Are these guys, these guys still infected? They were in the PC. And they are out here. Okay. Uh, I want to try and infect the others with it. I don't know why I had to fly back to... Oh, my brain. <laughs> I flew back to Sutopolis because in my brain it was like, that was where I left them. Sorry. Um... Right, if I switch those two round... Uh, are they still infected now? Yes. Okay, I've flown back here because I think it's just battles that trigger it. So, if I'm, I'm thinking sort of if I do a few easy battles, it should spread. Yeah, they are still infected. That's so weird though. Why did those guys suddenly get cured by it? They, I mean, I suppose I only checked slacking before, but I assumed that the others would still be infected as well. Alright, Yin has it now, that's good. And Satoris has it. Fantastic, so it is just easy battles. Cool. Now I fly back to Sutopolis, and I will put Yin in the PC so that I always have a source of Pokerus should I need it, which I'm 99% sure I won't need it again. Uh, store you in box 14. Uh, yeah. So he's infected now, and uh, I can get out someone else. Who do I need? You for the surf. If I'm honest, I won't need Satorus for the reasons I went over last time, which is why he didn't get infected with it in the first place. Okay, fantastic. Uh, I guess I can explore Sutopolis now. Uh, Sutopolis' gym leader is really lovably admirable. Admirable. But that also means I have many rivals for his attention. He's got a peel with a double edge. I couldn't even catch his eye. Please, let me teach your Pokemon the move double edge. Even you're rejecting me. Uh, maybe a sort of Yandere simulator mod that has you in Sutopolis City or something. Sutopolis sprang up as a town in the crater of a volcano. If you look at the sky, the lip of the crater is also visible. So all you see is the sky in a circle. But that's what makes the sky above Sutopolis the most beautiful. Um, couple of problems. First of all, why would you choose to live in the mouth of a volcano? Also, if the city is big and you look up, it's not going to be like a, a ring in the sky. It's going to be a giant thing. The horizon is a ring, but the sky isn't, logically. Um... There appear to be pot plants blocking whatever that is at the back. 
When I was young, I traveled the world as a Pokemon trainer. Now I've become an old buzz and my only amusement is watching young trainers battle. And shower. What? Do you know the Pokemon Lotad is rarely seen in Cetopolis? Well, it's never seen in Cetopolis. I love, I mean, love big Lotad. My big brother says that Cedar is bigger. But that's wrong. Everyone knows that Lotad is a lot bigger. Do you have a Lotad? I don't. However, I can conclusively say that they're identical in height. Which is bizarre. I mean, I suppose that's the joke of this room, but... There's Seedot, who stands tall, and then there's Lotad, who is, like, wide. So unless his height is his width instead, then Lotad are huge, and I had no idea. Listen up, and I'll tell you something good. There's supposed to be an ancient ruin in the sea around here. There could be treasures just waiting to be discovered down there. Yeah, I'll go find it eventually. Ancient treasures. It would be nice if they existed, but even if they didn't, it would be so beautiful to take an underwater stroll with my Pokemon. Can't walk underwater, and ancient tre treasures do definitely exist. It's just a very low likelihood that you will find one. I've never been out of this city. I wonder what the world is like on the other side of this round sky. It's not round, it's just a lip. Mount Pyre. At its peak, two orbs are placed side by side. Did you know? Well, they're not anymore, but yes. Yes, two orbs side by side. Sight them together. Sorry. Is she making a... Hmm. Hmm. Have you met the old man down the hill? I think you two would get along very nicely. Oh. Hello. Hi. What's your name? Okay, that's nice. My name is Kiri. That's a really nice name. My mommy and daddy named me that so I would grow healthy and warm-hearted. That's what they wished. And then I became like this. Stabbing trees in the corner of a city. Kiri will give you this too. Um. And referring to myself as the third person like a psychopath. I wonder what kind of wish is included in your name. Hmm. The wish not to be stabbed? Not all wishes come true. And on that note, there appears to be some connection between Cetopolis and Mount Pyre. My friends and I did some research on it at the lab where I used to work. Of course, I was fired for wasting everybody's time. Hmm. My big brother used to study the sea, and then he was fired for wasting everybody's time. Wow, his entire family know the story. For 30 years, I've remained in Cetopolis, honing my skills. I've developed a shattering TM. I bequeath it to you. Bequeathed. Brick break? Brick break. Nailed it. Hmm. You've come all the way to Cetopolis. You're no ordinary tourist. But I suppose that doesn't make you an extraordinary tourist either. Piss off until you're extraordinary. Hmm. I don't really like Cetopolis, the people here are weird. Who might you be? This is the cave of origin. The spirits of Pokemon be carved in Mount Pyre are said to be revived here. Please leave. Hmm. <clears throat> that voice is going to be fun when I have to do it again later. It's about time I continued with the story after faffing around with um, uh, the, the, the Pokerus for bloody ages so also I'm very keen to try out a trick that I've just completely discovered entirely on my own did you know that if you press B you can dive upwards ah oh, I it sucks that nobody told me that I'm entirely kidding people have been yelling at me in the comments for not not knowing about this for a couple of episodes so time to um, head down, I think. Is it south? Oh, no, no, it's, it's right from here. Ooh, a double battle. This looks fun. Hello. Bird Pokemon of excellent vision. They spot prey from great heights. We should have a slow and methodical match. Yes. Yes to both of you. You're both equally not insane standing on an island with trees on it. Barely an island. Scarberry! Look at it! Look at it, isn't it cool? Ah! Oh, I'm gonna 
pull out the best for for oh Skarmory. Oh, it's so stealthy. You're so quick and agile. Isn't Skarmory amazing? Sorry, I'll stop. Yay, minutes level 41. Look at all those stats has gone up by. Okay, I don't know how EVs work. A couple of people, you see, after uh, during briefly during the last recording, I looked up EVs and stuff. At the end of the recording, I also looked it up. And then uh, people have tried to explain this to me in the comments. I just don't get it. I don't get it at all. And it's kind of like uh, it's kind of like the offside rule in football, or um, what? Lunoon can surf. Well, that was crap. Oh come on, Yang! For God's sake. Uh, it's kind of like the offside rule in football, or like. Uh, inflation in economics I sort of get the basic principle people have tried to teach me it before I just don't care enough about football or detailed economy I'll use it on it when it's got one hit point left Yang good job and get a critical hit come on but yeah that's why I've just not I, I just I just can't take the information in. No matter what, I just cannot do it. That was easy. What do you mean I didn't give you the chance? You had ages. I better do a bit of healing. What's this then? A shard? Oh, a rare candy. Oh, that's not bad. Don't think I'll ever use it. Okay, I'm gonna be honest. I have no idea where I am. Oh. Oh. Okay, maybe I do. Sorry, I've got my, my magical guide open again, and this isn't what it looks like on the guide. Oh, I think it is, but it just doesn't have trees appearing on the guide. Okay, I think I know where I am. It's fine. Carry on with your day. Hello. Through fishing, I have attained a state of a calm serenity. Please allow me to demonstrate. I don't know why I'm, all my accents are really off today. I blame it on the cough. Yay, Yang's level 42! That was pretty good. Nice. Though I have lost, my heart remains calm. It matters not that I catch nothing, the line remains in the water. Whoops, don't tell me I snagged a surfing Pokemon. I can't keep up. Yeah, fairly easy. It'd be a handful if I hooked your tough Pokemon. I'd beat the crap out of you. Well, hey, this is a match between a Pokemon fan and a fishing buff. You don't know that I'm a Pokemon fan. I could just be saying, excuse me, sir, you're not allowed to fish here, and you're like, haha, on guard. Take my... Oh, magic up. Well, I suppose that's a leveled reaction. Uh, nope, his voice has just left my head entirely. I wonder if there's any underwater loot here. Let's find out. Ooh, it's a trench. Uh, there's nothing here at all. Okay. I'm really glad I came to this obscure corner of the route, expecting there to be some sort of loot. It's just given me the boot. Nope, nope, run out of rhymes. What about this one? Anything? No, doesn't look like it. It's just a slightly less deep trench. Oh, it's a guy here. He looks like a black belt, so let's switch Rainus in. No, I said let's switch Rainus in. Run in your bare feet. That will toughen up your souls. I actually seem to have sort of weak souls. My soul is weak. Um, always hurts my feet when I walk. That's why I prefer to use uh, a bike. Oh, that was piss. Absolutely piss. Youch! I got a pebble under a toenail! Bloody hell, how big are your toenails if you can get a pebble under there? This is what I do to people who beat me! I hope we can do this again! Oh god, no! Please stop! Please stop registering me in your phone! Psychopath. I'm just insulting people. I'm just going to be insulting people and running away. I suppose that's my entire MO. 